Hi guys, this is Chris Morton from binaryoptions.net.au and in this video I'm going to go through common withdrawal problems with the bank to binary broker. So firstly I'll cover um, uh, in point form that their actual withdrawal policy. So um, you may or may not be aware but um, the minimum withdrawal um, of any withdrawal on bank to binary must be at least $50. So if your balance is under 50, you, you can't actually withdraw. So you should always keep that in mind before submitting a withdrawal. Um, they, one of the only few brokers that don't charge any fees on their withdrawals and they also allow you to do multiple withdrawals without any extra fees. Um, if you do happen to do uh, two withdrawals within a 48 hour period, they may actually merge that um, amount into one actual um, payout. Uh, so just be aware of that. If you've made like one withdrawal of 100, another one of 250, then, then you're going to probably receive a payment of 350. And you also must be aware that on your first withdrawal request, you must complete their verification process. All right, so going th through their actual compliance or their verification procedure, um, it requires um, two or three things. So um, you're going to have to provide a color copy of a government photo ID, um, front and back. So this can be either a driver's license, a passport, or some sort of authorized identification card. You're also going to have to provide a color copy of a recent utility bill, no longer than six months old, showing your name and address. So this can be a water bill, gas bill, electricity bill, or a phone bill. Uh, or actually a bank statement with your address and name on it. Um, and if you actually deposit via credit card, you also need to provide a color copy showing only the name, expiration date, the last four digits of your um, uh, card number and the signature on the back. So it's two ways you can do that. If you have access to a scanner, it's to scan all that in and keep it file on your computer or actually take a, a photo with your smartphone um, and keep that local on your computer. Um, I actually recommend uploading that when you actually first join, even before you deposit. So when it comes to do your withdrawal, you're actually already gonna be authorized and you're gonna get a fast uh, withdrawal um, turnaround time. So going through common withdrawal problems, I get uh, emails, um, people ring me up probably almost on a daily basis with uh, not just with bank to binary, but with pretty much every broker. Um, and usually it's just a misunderstanding of actually reading the terms and conditions and how the verification process works. So the first um, um, common uh, withdrawal problem is having a delayed withdrawal. So um, this can be um, from not reading the terms and conditions of their withdrawal. You should always read the terms and conditions just so you understand exactly what that involves um, and it's going to actually say that you um, need to complete the verification process. So have you actually completed the verification process? Um, that's going to be your first check. Um, the second one is that did you accept a bonus? Um, if you accept a bonus then there's going to be um, additional terms and conditions attached to that before you can make any withdrawal. The second major issue is actually having verification issues. So please read the terms and conditions on their site on the verification procedure or just go up um, um, to the beginning of this video where I covered it. It's just covering three, three, two or three important documents that uh, will identify yourself. And once they know who you are, um, then you're gonna have a smooth um, process. Um, and lastly, the other one is having um, a decline withdrawal. So when you actually go to make a withdrawal and it's declined, um, this could be a simple, um, you know, a fat finger where you've actually typed in the wrong um, details, um, the, the wrong e-wallet uh, amounts, um, or you haven't actually done the right uh, verification procedure. But if it's actually because bank to binary with direct or withdrawal without actually giving you an explanation, that's a cause for concern. So if you've ever had a bank to binary withdrawal declined and they haven't actually told you why, please let me know or comment below this video. Um, that's a cause for concern, but I don't believe you'll get that with bank to binary. Um, you, may, you may run into some issues, but they can be resolved. Um, usually it's just a miscommunication between yourself, understanding the terms and conditions, 
Um, so once you understand that, then it's pretty straightforward um, as to how you can actually do a withdrawal down the track. Um, and if you still wish to submit a complaint, you can do that on my website. You can post it on our forum and I'll, I will actually go the extra mile to actually resolve that complaint for you. Um, so yeah, feel free to do that by clicking on the provided link in this video or you can simply comment below this video or if you feel like you just want to email me um, direct, you can just email me at chris at binaryoptions.net.au. So until next time, may all your trades be profitable.